at the Rift Lake Overlook. This is just off of US Highway 12 in Washington State. We're on our way out to check out some free camping this morning at Rift Lake, dispersed camping area. Let's get to it. This is a vantage point from the Rift Lake Overlook off of US Highway 12. Just spectacular. Look at those low hanging clouds right above the lake. Let's go check some free camping out this morning. We are on US Highway 12. Turn right onto Cosmos Road, then sharp left onto Champion Hall Road. It's real easy to miss the turnoff of the dispersed camping area. I had to come up the road a little ways to turn around. You can see how pretty the lake is. It's just around the, the turn here. You need to take it real slow because I was only going at like 30 miles an hour. Speed limit's 35. And I whizzed right past it. So there is the entrance to the Cowlitz Wildlife Area. It appears we are in the Cosmos unit of the Wildlife Area. And the sign here says camping stays limited to 14 consecutive days unless otherwise posted. There is also posted a Cowlitz River Project update and it talks about areas temporarily being closed because they capped an oil seep and they need to do an environmental review. So right after you enter the wildlife area you're going to see the signboard where I just show you what's posted there and then you have this large parking area for day use parking. There's a gate up here, the gate is open, there's also a vault toilet, it is serviceable. The gate is open and this is the end of September 2021. It also says that the gate is seasonally closed November 30th through May 15th. I'm telling you, this is a really scenic location. I see a camper down on the end there. Wow, this is really pretty out here today. There's a camper set up over there. Looks like they have a, a tent set up outside of their camper. A couple vehicles parked. Um, that lake is gorgeous. I see two porta potties set up. And there's, there's this large open area back in here. I see Class B over there by the water. But this is gorgeous. Well, there's one camper set up over there. There's another fire ring against the wood line over in there. We'll walk up there in just a minute. See a Class B down in here. There's multiple different fire rings. You see the fire rings?
there's a fire ring off to the lower or uh, center of your screen right hand side there's a pretty big fire ring over there so there's a gate down there there's this big fire ring that I just uh, referred to and uh, that's looking back toward Highway 12. Highway 12 would be at the foot of those mountains. But dig this view. Isn't that something? That is very picturesque. Yeah. This would be a place to come hang out for a couple days. Cowlitz Wildlife Area, Washington State Department of Natural Resources. Look how pretty that is. Wow is all I have to say. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's another vantage point of Rife Lake. That is some awesome scenery. Well, there's definitely a lot of space. At this wildlife area. And a couple more campfire rings there. And then several more over by where that Class B is. And I'm going to walk up, check out that campsite that is up there against the wood line. So, you'd have a heck of a time trying to get your rig level up there by that campsite. But, uh, there are pull-throughs in here where you can find a place to get your rig level. There, there's enough maneuver room back in here to accommodate just about any size rig. As long as it wasn't full, I would definitely walk back before you bring a big rig back here. There's that campfire ring, campsite. And another look out toward Rife Lake. So a few items of interest. I didn't I did not see any signs posted out here like you would normally do at a Washington State um, Department of Wildlife area stating that you needed the Discover Pass. I didn't see any Discover Pass signs here, so that was different. Uh, and then they have this sign here posted facing out toward, you know, this like prairie area that says no camping, stay limited to eight hours. There's day use, I guess you can walk out in there. And then they have another sign posted here, no unauthorized vehicles beyond this sign. Of course, there's no road there. It just goes out into the prairie. But uh, there is the road and open gate that takes you out to uh, Rife Lake. And to be clear, uh, there is another sign posted here. Notice area temporarily closed, but you got to read down into the details. It says this area will be closed until further notice beginning on November 29, 2019 due to an environmental review. That's that referring to that notice on the outer board I talked about where they capped an oil seep. Uh, Walk-in access is permitted in all areas outside of the closed area. And then it goes on to identify the closed area. And you note that um, the hand gliding area, the gate, the restrooms, and this, uh, this beach area out here. And this is the area where the, um, the camping was right out in here. Uh, is not in that enclosed area. And just in case you couldn't make it out, 
I had walked right down in here and this area outside of the closed area is where that RV was camping and that Class B camper was camping. So the area that I showed you today is not the closed area. So I just uh, spent about 10 minutes with that gentleman from Tacoma Power. Uh, they're out here checking signage. Uh, he said, yes, you can go out and camp where I showed you out there. Uh, that is still open area and it's still free camping. You do not need a Discover Pass to be out here. I think I'm going to leave it here. I'll have the grid coordinates for this free camping location in the written video description on YouTube. I'll also have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description as well. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.